。观众朋友，欢迎收看《最佳方案》。近视在儿童中呢，越来越普遍，也越来越早发生，是家长呢比较头疼的一个问题。那有什么样的方法可以更安全、更有效的预防和矫正近视呢？今天我们就来谈一谈日渐流行的 Auto K 角膜塑形术。我们为您请到的嘉宾呢是眼科医生 Dr. O， 来给我们介绍一下 Auto K 这种治疗方法。Dr. O 自八十年代开始使用 Auto K 来治疗近视眼，是最早开发这项技术的医生之一。一九九二年 ，Dr. O 最早把 Auto K 技术带到了亚洲，三十年来共治疗超过五千个案例，是全美四百个 Auto K 学院院士之一。同时，也是亚洲、拉美和俄罗斯 Auto K 的学院成员。Orthokeratology is that it's a procedure or therapy to design a special lens or gas permeable material lens to wear them at night. So we gently reshape the surface of the cornea. 角膜塑形术是利用逆转几何的原理，用角膜塑形镜片改变角膜弧度，以达到非手术性的视力矫正和预防近视的效果。角膜塑形术通过一种高透气式的硬性隐形眼镜，在夜间佩戴，通过透明镜片压平眼角膜，以便改善白天的视力缺陷。这种光学镜片虽然材质是硬的，但比软性的眼镜呢更加具有空气的穿透能力。根据 Dr. O 介绍说，角膜塑形术最早是用于像消防员这样在工作时无法佩戴框架眼镜和隐形眼镜的特殊职业者，而 Dr. O 呢是最早把 Auto K 应用在防治儿童近视的先驱者之一。他开始研究 Auto K 技术呢，是他在加州波克莱大学当学生的时候，他自己的儿子、亲戚和朋友呢都曾经当过他的治疗对象。I was in glasses from like age about eight years old, second graders. And、uh, my myopia really progressed very rapidly. I was as high as about minus 850. When I was a student in Berkeley, an undergraduate, I used to wear hard contacts, and then being highly, highly nearsighted, that I was very inspired by the work they did. 据 Dr. O 说呢，因为孩子的角膜还没有完全成型，长期佩戴 Auto K 可以减缓近视的恶化，还可以帮助角膜呢恢复到正常的状态。可是，在很多时候，要想让一个孩子晚上整晚佩戴硬性材质的眼镜，孩子呢会觉得不舒服，或者觉得头晕，或者是不愿意佩戴。那这些问题是怎么造成的呢？又该如何来解决呢 ？Orthokeratology is really a skill of of a fitting of designing the lens. So I would assume that、uh, prefer to find a doctor with a lot of experience. Change. They grow, and then eyeball size, shape, and changes as they grow. The nearsightedness increases. So, if small children go through the ortho K, it works well for a year or so, and then the vision gets worse. Then, of course, you gotta go to the doctor, and then vision could get worse, especially children. 
So need to be refitted, parent's point of view. If you're looking for a doctor, I strongly recommend from the local place that where you are, you should go to the academy uh, website, try to find a doctor who at least spends their time and money and effort. I'd just like to add that orthokeratology has been known as a myopia controlling or reducing therapy. But now that with a seasoned practitioner like myself and some of our, uh, my colleagues, we are actually trying to fit even non-myopic patients like far-sighted people or far-sighted old vision person. It's called hyperoptic presbyopes, that which means like who has a problem seeing far and then have more problem with the reading. A 45 years old engineer that uh, who has to have a glasses. I think uh, within uh, next 30 years or so, 20 years, and uh, I think orthokeratology will be a uh, mainstream first choice procedure for small children who is becoming nearsighted. And uh, so hopefully most of the price will go down, more doctors are well trained, and better procedure to make the corneal mold will come out. And uh, so we should be able to apply to every single applicable children who is acquiring nearsightedness should be treated. And uh, also there is a permanent orthokeratology 听完了Dr.O.T.O.T.O.T.O.T.O.T.O.T.O.T.O.T.O.T.O.T.O.T.O.T.O.T.O.T.O.T.O.T.O.T.O.T.O.T.O.T.O.T.O.T.O.T.O